Hi, Hi guys, how are you this evening? This is Obi Dave and I am Ash, the real I am Ash. My hair does not grow out one side of my head. See, look, comes out the other side too. I just like it like this because I don't know. I like your hair like looks that. Looks kind of nice. I think it looks nice. Thank you. And this You've got is... a weird forehead, so if you put it back <laughs> behind you in a ponytail, it's, it's like, true. shockingly... I, it's more because I have got like a pea head, like I've got a really tiny head and you can't tell... Thankfully, because I've got so much hair. But if it's pulled back in a ponytail, like when Dave and I go to gym, I just, I look like an alien. <laughs> true. Makes her more, it makes her significantly more punchable. It's true. So we've been boxing tonight and uh, obviously we teamed up. Yes. And there was a fair amount of punches thrown and we almost, because now we've started incorporating some ducks into it and stuff yeah. as well. There was almost... A couple of digs a, to the couple, face, one. A couple. They? It was funny though because, like, he just the the instructor kept changing it up. So you get into a rhythm of like doing twenty and then a duck, and then he's like, "Now do it two times and a duck." And we just we couldn't get the rhythm. Yeah. And it was like, "Oh, oh, oh." And when I was unsure and you tried to throw a punch, sometimes <laughs> I, was just, I was just blocking. <laughs> thought I was going to get chinned. And then we had to do this thing where there's like body hits. So you put your arm here, obviously, so Dave would be punching like my glove against my body. And they, like even you said like a couple of times, I must have hit you quite hard. Like, because even it felt like my brain was rattling, like Dave it. was going for it. <laughs> Such a liar. I'm just glad you had gloves on this time. Uh, right then, we've been binging a little bit of old kitchen nightmares. We have. Yeah. And I, every couple of years or so, I go on YouTube and I just start watching Kitchen Nightmares because mm-hmm. I can't be bothered finding things to watch. And you just know what you're going to get. It's like rewatching Friends or, you know, This is why whatever. I watch Gamers, because it's always interesting. And if yeah. you find a game that you really enjoy, different players, obviously different gamers, play it in different ways. And it's like a new thing. It's a new story. It's great. I'm just not into watching gamers really. I watch a bit with you and it's all right. You I'm like just... Neebs. You love yeah, the Among Us series. Yeah, depends on the series. game. Depends on the game. Uh, right, anyway, so we've been watching Kitchen Nightmares, so we're on a bit of a Ramsey kick at the moment. Key and Peel, cooking shows can mess with your head. Yes. It looks like MasterChef, doesn't it? Does it does look like MasterChef. Which isn't Gordon Ramsay MasterChef, You also like Fooster when we Hell's watched Kitchen. that... Uh, Last, no, I prefer Days Gone. Yeah, or that something. was good. That's that, that was good. zombie Cause, film. Because the game Super was good. Game. You're just parroting what I say. I, no, I was tripping over my words. I called it a film instead film of a game. Instead of it. Right then, get off. Key and Peel, <laughs> cooking shows can mess with your head. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Drew, come forward. Yes, chef, this is a chicken quiche with cremini mushrooms, baby spinach, and feta cheese. Unbelievable. Well, Drew, I have a huge problem with this dish. It's that you haven't made it for me sooner. Thank you, chef. Because if you had, Drew, then I would know how good you are at cooking food that's bad. I'm sorry, Chef. And when I say bad, I mean Michael Jackson bad. Thank you, Chef. You know how he looked really, really bad at the end of his life? (laughs) (laughs) Chef. Do you know what? This is like that um, one of those episodes in Family Guy where the doctor keeps, like, waiting to give results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's always just like, ah! And all last minute, they're like, why are you doing this to us? Quick shameless plug. We're doing full episode watch-alongs of Great British Bake Off over on Patreon every Wednesday evening. It's true. And they do it on Bake Off. Yeah. Not to this degree, not as gratuitous. No. But it is. It's more heartwarming and lovey-dovey and everyone's really nice to each other. Yeah, but there's an element of this. It's It's like... It's like on a Big Mouth where Connie goes, uh, I'm going to go get a bubble bath and watch the Great British Bake Off because they're so nasty to each other. Sometimes. I mean, Michael Jackson bad. Thank you, Chef. You know how he looked really, really bad at the end of his life? Chef, I'm sorry. I don't know if you like the dish or not. You don't know if I like the dish or not? Well, let's put it this way. Pat your f***ing knives, get out, you're off the show. Sorry, Chef. Because you should be working 
in the finest restaurant in the world. <laughs> he does the accent Frankly, well. Chef. Just not yeah. any world that I live in. <laughs> Sorry, Chef. Because, frankly, Drew, I'm jealous of you. Thank you, Chef. And your ability to not give a shit about what you cook. This is not fit for human consumption. No, this should be eaten by a higher life form with a more complex palate, but also an altruistic drive to save humanity from dishes like this. Joking, not! You deserve to die! So you won't have to endure a life in which you will never exceed what you have achieved here today. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. In conclusion. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Jesus, it's it's true. And some of them, not not obviously Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon is very upfront, which I appreciate. Th there's been accusations made that the which I think it's pretty obvious that the producers add sound effects and they add things to Kitchen Nightmares. It's like Naked and Afraid, though. It's like I said yeah. to you, like when they add certain noises, it's like, that's not the animal. Yeah. That doesn't make that noise. So the, the, <laughs> the latest Naked and Afraid was on the border between Zimbabwe and South Africa yes. the, in that sort of region. And obviously Ash grew up in Zimbabwe. Yeah. And we're watching Naked and Afraid together and they'd show like... What did they show? Was it an elephant and did a lion or... Yeah. There was something as bad... Which they, I, they made out like, oh, there's like dangerous cheetahs everywhere. And it's like the shyest fucking predator in the oh. whole of Africa is more scared of you than you are of it. It's still one of the best programmes. And then they kept talking like. about like when they're walking through the bush, like, you know, there's leopards in every one of you know, these trees. It's like they're a nocturnal fucking creature, also terrified of you. What is the drama for? Why? Why are they doing this? Oh, and then what really irritated me, they kept calling the baobab tree a baobab. But they aren't African people. I know, but it's... Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Interesting fact, the baobab in Africa, we call it the upside-down tree and that the, the obviously the giants were angry that the trees were trying to get bigger than them, so they ripped them up and turned them upside down. That's why it looks like the top because it's just one long big tree okay that's that's the story the myth but also it is one of the only trees that can survive completely hollow completely hollow stick <laughs> with us for more tree facts and we've got some beautiful beautiful conifer trivia coming up later um what else have we got we've got uh we can talk about more African trees like the white acacia. No, or the uh, right then. Cheers for that one, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget Great British Bake Off over on uh, Patreon, and we'll see you soon. You like my facts. See you guys. That's, that's <laughs> not what I call them. <laughs>